Silvano Alves, first of the three to ride. And he's poised, Mac, if he can make a qualified ride to tie Chris Shivers at 412. Well, that's great company to be in for, for any rider if they can ever reach any sort of record that ties yes. in with Chris Shivers. That is one of the all-time greats of the PBR, the most exciting guy that I've probably ever seen ride until Jose Vitor Lemmy come around. Uh, but Silvano, you know, three gold buckles. What more can you say? This matchup doesn't look great on paper with Red Dawn really liking the left and having some forward movement. You know, Red Dawn, people think of this as a good bull to draw, but when you look at all the different matchups and all the guys that have zeros beside their matchup with Red Dawn, it's really impressive. 55 career outs. This will be number 56 for Red Dawn. He has only allowed 10 qualified rides. This one from Chad Berger at Dakota Rodeo. All his partners, including Heald Pro Bulls, they love this bull, and for good reason. He just keeps on chugging along. Well, He's like a diesel engine. Yeah, and here's the thing. He doesn't just put down the right-handers yes. that are susceptible. He's put down some great left-handers. Mooney, Lockwood. Lockwood has ridden him before, but he's also bucked him off before, so... This pool, there's a, there's a little more than meets the eye. Well, the predictability of Silvano is there. The past couple seasons, he usually gets put on the clock. He usually lets it wind down, but then he always nods. Alves and Shivers are now tied. Two of the biggest names this sport has ever seen. They both have earned 412 qualified rides. Well said, Craig. Two of the biggest. Five gold buckles between mm -hmm. Shivers and Silvano. That's uh, that's pretty amazing stuff right there. And Red Don not having his best day. 78 and three quarters. You see he starts left like he always does, but then he gets a little lost and just kind of takes off for about three or four jumps. Tries to finish strong to the right, but a little bit too late. Uh, there, the judges, judges, the bull score is not going to be that high for him, 38 and a half. Well, he, it's not going to be his best ride, but it might be one of the most memorable when you get to say you share some space with a legend like Chris Shivers. There it is. What a list. They are now tied for fifth all time on the qualified ride list. The first one didn't go how we wanted, but made that second one work out, so we're happy. Craig. Speaking of second one, Alves makes a second qualified ride this weekend. And Mac, you said it before he left the shoots. Nothing's ever going to be, you know, Alves is never going to get to the Everest in terms of one ride totals. But he is going to get to the top of Everest doing it one ride at a time three gold buckles you know yeah. when he was in those world title runs it wasn't because he was slinging out 90s mm -hmm. night in and night out you know it was it was those scores just like this mid 80s mid 80s over and over and stacking them up